ladies and gentlemen, you are tuned in to Zorondon Cast. I am, of course, Zorondon, and this is part 10 of my Pandaren Monk playthrough. We are currently doing the Alliance quest. We need to rescue one more Alliance soldier, kill eight, or excuse me, yes, eight deep sea tormentors, as well as find seven more Alliance supplies. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started on that. Notice that we can, of course, save or help some Alliance soldiers who are currently engaged in combat. However, that is not rescuing the injured sailors, so you do, of course, need to find the ones that are on the ground that you can interact with and carry them back. And again, in the last episode, I was mentioning that uh, you might feel like you're choosing Alliance or Horde if you start doing these quests, uh, but they are indeed just part of the chain, and you have to do them no matter what. So go ahead and plow through them, and it won't make you choose, it won't force you into one of those options. And again, you can see these are quick respawning. Uh, it's quite crowded here in the moment as it is the weekend, as well as there are almost 1.2 million people in the beta at this point. Go try and find some supplies. You'll notice, like, uh, this is one of the propellers from the airship that kept it aloft. It's cool to see all of the different parts and stuff smashed and what different look they can give the design. You know, the sides of the ship, you can tell there was probably a pretty big fire, a lot of stuff's been burned out. And what we've learned while we were getting all these quests is that the Alliance ship had some Horde prisoners of war on board. And the Horde attempted a escape and it ultimately caused the, the ship to crash. Um, so, obviously the Horde and Alliance are kind of at each other's throats still here. As is going to be the theme in Mesa Bandaria. So, it's cool to see that ramped up and already has a low level Pandaria feeling the anger between the two factions that you've never met until now. So, it's cool to see how that has started, and it'll be interesting to see how it develops for the future of Pandaria as we go through our five new additional levels, as well as, of course, the content patches. We need one more supply here for medical. Oh, the blah, blah. <laughs> um, one more medical supply for the Alliance as well as one more injured soldier we might have one supply here and then we just gotta find another injured guy which will be right there I got him alright let's head back and get these turned in Don't get stuck on torches, that can be uh, frustrating. Notice, of course, I dropped my injured guy. Turn that quest in now. A little difficult to click on him when so many people are here. Another new chest piece. Alright, now we need to go basically defeat a boss deep sea nightmare. And as you can see, they're it's a phase, so you lose a lot of the junk around, but you can also see that people are already gauged in the fight, so it is a kind of group event. Get in on the end of it there. Uh, it's a fairly interesting fight. He runs around, he does, I believe, some knockback. He also spawns more mobs, which you have to fight off. Uh, so I guess you'll get to experience that a little more instead of seeing me do it. Unfortunately, they almost had him down, so... Well, now we're gonna go rush to the top of the ship, because G Firepaw's plan is to set off explosives and blow the debris of the ship 
off of uh, the turtle, which sounds pretty dangerous and stupid if you ask me. So we'll have a little confrontation here. And this is basically where G and Cloud Singer go apart from each other. They somewhat lose a friendship here. You know, she's she kind of feels betrayed. But it's interesting because in the end they're still very much friends, yet they choose different factions. And I mean, because they're one's horde and one's alliance, they have to basically be each other's mortal enemies now. But in a way that's not the Pandaren way, just because they're kind of just you know, whatever flows my way, I'll go with. But now we're gonna blow it off the turtle, so we're gonna get the crap out of here. You get a little cutscene, which isn't quite finished. Right now we just get boom, and uh, comes back, and as you can see, the ship is now mostly gone. Uh, the wound is festering and bleeding, of course, and the deep sea tormentors are still around. Talk to G here. And what you can now see is there are some druids and priests and whatnot healing the turtle. So it is our goal to simply protect the healers and kill deep sea ravengers until our little bar here is full. So just run around, find yourself some deep sea ravengers or invaders or whatever kill them off. The more you kill off, the quicker it'll fill up. And once it's full, the quest will of course be complete. You see, they, they can go quite a ways out here. We'll go over here and help this fella. It's not too hard. Uh, the guys aren't going to drop anything. Actually, wait, they do. Okay, well they didn't use to drop anything. They've added their loot in now, which is nice. You're going to have to probably kill 15 or so guys to fill the bar, unless there are quite a few people here. It's actually a group kind of thing. It seems to fill up when I'm not doing anything. So we'll go ahead and continue on with that. You see them running in more and more keep coming. Last guy out and should be all but finished. There we go. Completed that. Head on back to G Firepaw to turn that in. Get some new pants, which, as always, Always good to have pants. We'll get another little cutscene here, which also isn't quite finished. Uh, but the he wound does heal, and the camera goes up and kind of spins around, and shows you the healed wound. I really like the crimson trees here. Uh, it's almost has an influence of, hey, there was a wound here, we've healed it, but the blood of the wound will always kind of remain in these few crimson trees. It's kind of a cool little thematic idea and we'll talk to G here and once again we're going to return to the temple of the five dawns so we'll head on out that away you also notice here the horde and the alliance are on a standoff now that the actual problems have been averted they are yet again standing at each other's throats and we'll jump on our yak cart buddy there we go, it'll take us back to the Temple of the Five Dawns. And we are wrapping up here on the Wandering Isle. I believe after we return to the Temple, we are going to choose whether we're Horde or Alliance. And so that will conclude the Wandering Isle once we're there. I will, of course, go ahead and turn that quest in just to show you the interface and whatnot. I'm also going to do... Uh, two videos with the Horde and Alliance welcoming com committee sort of quest uh, for the Pandaren. So, once we get that, I'll show you that as well. 
So just sit back and relax the sit <laughs> sit back and really enjoy the ride. Uh, as we've done many times with this little yak guy. There's not much else to do other than just kind of enjoy the scenery as you're riding on it. Uh, it is of course just like any other flight path or lound mount path. Uh, we've seen those in and of course, Gilneas for the Worgen areas, and uh, I believe there's a cart pulled by an Etten up in uh, Tris Trisfall Glades. Actually, it's below Trisfall. So, get the name of it here. Yeah, Silver Pine Forest. Alright, well we are back at the Temple of the Five Dawns, so we're going to head on up here and turn in... Uh, the new quest, new fate quest, and that should do it, I believe. See, all our elemental buddies are here. Go ahead. And yes, uh, earlier I wanted to mention that you can now see Master Shang Z is back, but he is of course a spirit because he passed on turn in that quest and now you can see the horde alliance interface you can join horde you can join alliance this is of course of course the point where that neutrality thing comes into play so that is actually going to conclude my pandaren monk playthrough uh, again i'm going to do a horde and alliance joining uh video i'll show you those at a later date so once again i am zarondin Please subscribe, and I'll see you on the other side.